Once you have finished installing and configuring TIM, you need to set up CEM to receive and monitor transactions. First, we need to log into the APM CEM console. Under Setup, click the Monitors tab. Then, click New to set the TIM configuration. Now we will specify the name, IP address and port details on which TIM is installed and then save it. Note, if TIM is installed using private HTTPD, then you need to specify the same port that you have specified during installation. Observe the TIM gets listed in the monitors list. Now, we will check the TIM checkbox and click Enable. This will enable TIM to monitor transactions and send data to the enterprise manager. When TIM is enabled for monitoring, it automatically upgrades business services and business transactions for TIM monitoring. A message informs the same. We will click OK to continue. Message confirms successful execution of the task. This enables the communication between the enterprise manager and the TIM. Next, we will create a business application. Under Administration, click the Business Applications tab and then click New. Here, you need to specify the application details. For the purpose of this demo, we will enter the Tix Change application that needs to be monitored and then click Save. Next, click the Business Services tab. Here, we need to specify the business application details to create the business service. For this demo, we will enter the Tix Change application details and click Save. Observe that. The new business service has been created successfully. Next, we have to synchronize the business services with monitors. Observe the monitors are synchronized successfully. After synchronizing the monitors, we need to create the transaction templates. So, we will click Administration and then the Transaction Discovery tab. In this demo, we have to create a template for Tix Change service. So, let's click the New button that is available under the Templates category. Now, we will specify the required information to create a template for Tix Change, and then click Save. Similarly, we have to create a parameter for the transaction template, and then click Save. Then, click Enable to enable the transaction template. Once done, we will click the Start button available under the Status section to start the transaction recording. Now. Let's select all the captured transactions. Select Tix Change Service from the Move to Drop Down list and click Move. A message gets displayed, requesting for confirmation. Click OK. This moves all the transactions to the Tix Change Service. Next, let's click the Business Services tab and select the Tix Change Service folder structure and click Save. After saving, we have to enable the business transactions. Therefore, let's click the Business Transactions link, and select all the business transactions. Click Enable to enable the business transactions of Tixchange service. Observe the monitoring of the business transactions definitions are enabled. Once the agents have the business transaction definitions, they will start monitoring and will report the transaction data. In the Monitors page, let's click Synchronize All Monitors. Observe that the monitors are synchronized successfully. Now we will check the defects. From the Incident Management page, access the Defects link. Specify the business service, business transaction, defect type and click Search. Now, we can view the defects of the Tix Change service. Let's click Enable to enable the transactions. In the Set Condition Value to Text field you need to enter value. For this demo, let's enter 1.000 and then, click Set. This will enable all the transactions to produce defects that are less than the set value. Now, any transaction that exceeds the set value will be identified as slow response time issue. Let's navigate to the Incident Management page to view the defects identified for the Tix Change service. Under the Incident Management tab, Click the Incidents link to view the lists of incidents that has been generated. You can further drill down to view the overview. Here, you will find the general and problem resolution information about the incident. Now, 
we will configure CA Introscope with CEM. Under Setup, let's click the Introscope Settings tab. Specify the details and click Save Settings. Once the configuration is saved, log in to the APM Web View Console. Observe that all the business transactions has been generated successfully. To view the metrics of TixChange service, click Investigator and then click the Metric Browser tab. Under Business Service node, view the total defect metrics generated from CEM. Let's view the metrics for Business Segment node. Observe that. The investigators are reporting the URLs and each of them are receiving standard metrics in the Introscope. Let's expand the Business Segment node and we can observe all the business transactions of TixChange service are generated successfully. Further, you can drill down specific transaction. For the purpose of this demo, let's view the performance of account edit transaction. Expand the account. Edit form and let's select the JTIX change service to view its overall performance. Once you set up CEM with TIM, you can diagnose the end-to-end -end transaction of the applications.